I had had of sepsis and encephalitis 13 years ago. I was in ICU a week and not expected to live, sent home to just fade away peacefully within the week. And long story short, um, God apparently had other plans. And I was left with overarching uh, cavities, little holes in my lungs, not from smoking, but from the constant infections uh, and pneumonias and bronchitis related to um, all of the sepsis. And uh, my blood sugar was wonky. My thyroid wasn't quite right. I had issues with my brain because of the encephalitis. And I all of a sudden contracted five different infections at the same time. And my daughter took me to the emergency room. And the doctor there said, your immune system has just given up, Jen. Your iron won't hold. You're tremendously anemic. You need a transfusion. Your B12 is tanked. Um, I can see you're not breathing well. Um, each morning I would clear between four and five Kleenexes from my lungs wow. just to function. And I, uh, my body temperature had started to plummet. It was down to 95.3. And it ran that for two days. And finally, I called my daughters who live here in Topeka where I live and oh mom my gosh they took me into the emergency room the doctor said what I just told you about my iron and the b12 but he said the worst more important thing is that your immune system has just plain raised its hands and given up and um we can't medically do anything about that Jen you can go to your primary physician. She won't have anything more to offer than what I have to offer you, which is to be put in the hospital, do transfusions and shots of B12. Otherwise we can't help you and we can't reverse this situation. So went home, my daughter brought me home, tucked me in shivering and I prayed and I said, Lord, if you're finished with me, that's fine. I'm delighted. But if you have more for me to do, please open a window, a crack, or a door so I can come through and work for you. So I went to sleep peacefully. The next morning, I got a call from a friend of mine in Kansas City, Eric Beal. And he said, Jan, I was in prayer this morning. The Lord brought you to my mind and said, call Jan now. And Jan, what happened? He'd known me for like eight years, his whole family. So I expressed what happened. He paused and asked me, what have you heard about stem cells? And I said, nothing. Just don't mess with babies. That's all I knew. And so um, he shared some basic information that we're aware of now. And within four days, I received my X39, X49, and Eon. I would not be without X39 and Eon. Um, the end of the first day, I didn't take a single nap. I flowed from one activity to the other, and I was sleeping about 75% of my day with the infections and all. Um, by day four, I had patched four days, woke up the next day. For the first time in 13 years, Marcy, I had no coughing. The four to five Kleenex coughing, cleansing out of my lungs each morning, gone. I have not had that since then. And that was April 15th. What is that, like four months ago? So, um, Phenomenal things happened. My blood sugar was 
normalized. Thyroid was working. My hair stopped falling out. Um, then two and a half months into patching with X39 and uh, 49 and Eon, I had a most amazing thing happen. And Marcy, I don't know if you can even comprehend this, but 40 years ago, I had had a head-on accident with tremendous... Uh, my neck whipped back and forth this way, and it created a, a concussion type situation uh, with some injury. And um, it manifested like those. When I taught school, I had students who couldn't focus, who would have jumbly thoughts. Maybe you're familiar with what that is um, without labeling anything, you know. But decisions were always hard for me to make. And then after I had encephalitis 13 years ago, on top of that, it was very difficult to function. I would walk out from Walmart and not remember where my car was. I would be lost in the parking lot. Uh, different times I got lost just driving in Topeka. And Topeka is not difficult. Decisions were hard for me to make because of this just chaotic thought crossing in my mind. Two and a half months into patching, this almost makes me cry. Two and a half months into patching, 1.30 in the morning, I'm sitting up in my bedroom, trying to solve a problem. And all of a sudden, it was as if all of these colliding thoughts turned to liquid and just began to seep down and disappear was as if you know the the plug in the bottom of the bathtub that we pulled to let the water out just allowed that those to drain out I did research afterwards oh and what happened was I sat there in the dark with my mind absolutely brilliantly clear it's like the lights were turned on in my brain Marcy and I solved the problem in a heartbeat, laid down, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and my mind has stayed exactly that clear. And my memory loss is just like, everything is re-pulled back in. It's like it should be. Decisions are not difficult for me. I can plan for the future. Um, I couldn't project my thoughts and my plans much more than just within an hour or so. And that is just history for me. It's like magnificent. And it's a miracle. I thank the Lord every day for this brightness in my whole world. Well, to wrap this up, I did a little more research. I started listening to what other people uh, have experienced. And I found that it's something that happens to have with these little stem cells just doing what they do best a brain set is something that people can anticipate if that's one of their issues so i won't carry on anymore but i could i could go on and on i could i had a knee injury that was tremendous it was huge um i lifted something i shouldn't have and i heard a pop and it was my left knee. It was swollen like this. By the time I was ready to go to bed, I couldn't lift it to even walk up the steps or to get into bed. And I called Eric. I said, Eric, I've done a horrible thing. I said, how can, uh, what can I do? And he asked me, didn't you get an ice wave in your pack, Jan? I said, well, yes, but I have no pain. It was for other people that I got that ice wave to help them. And he said, Jan, open the ice wave. So I did. And I, I went, uh, I applied it the way he recommended. By morning, the swelling was gone. All of the pain was gone. And I only used that one set of ice wave patches from 1130 at night until a quarter till six in the morning. And I put the adhesive back on it and slipped it back in the pack. Because I knew it wasn't used up, but I didn't need it anymore.